Welcome to Invention Africa. I'm Quincy, and this is the show where we try to bring you guys impact and leave you with a hopeful message in under five minutes. And today I'm joined by Jacques. He is the executive head at Waterstone College. Thank you so much for your time, Jacques. It is an absolute pleasure to have you here. What people don't know is that you are actually my principal in high school. So this is an extra special episode for me to include you in this series. I'm going to jump straight into question one, if you don't mind, and ask you, what have you reinvented during the pandemic? Let's see. Firstly, thank you for the opportunity. Uh, fond memories, so it's great to be on your show. Um, I think in terms of reinvention, I think the uh, words that's on everyone's lips is obviously COVID and the impact on co of COVID. And I think for us as a company, I work for Kira Holdings, so I'm employed at a Kira school. Uh, we definitely reinvented, and I believe, the, the whole educational platform. Uh, we're a company that is geared to, to, towards 21st century learning. And uh, obviously, so what does that mean? So when, when, when the pandemic hit, we as a company and as, as, as individual schools, we were geared towards uh, education, or, uh, online education, um, which obviously brought its own challenges. So I believe as, as a company and as individual schools, we really... Uh, reinvented the whole approach. Uh, school, as you know, it will never be the same and it should 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 never be the same again. Um, I think we're equipping learners for, for the world out there, uh, the digital world. And um, yeah, I think obviously, you know, many, many lessons were learned uh, over a, an extended period of time. We were fortunate as a company, uh, nobody anticipated COVID to hit. So for the last two years as a company, we've actually embraced technology the online platforms uh, with Microsoft, um, you know, and everything else that it brings, uh, Minecraft, robotics, e-gaming, et cetera. So when COVID hit, um, it was actually a smooth transition for us, um, which actually has put us on, on the front foot. Um, and I believe we are leaders um, in education at the moment. Do you know what I love about that answer is, is exactly that when you said it put you on the front foot, right? Yes, you didn't know COVID was going to hit, but because you guys have been mindful of the current sort of technological um, environment that we're in and really trying to gear your schools, your individual schools or as a company towards this online sort of movement that it made the transition so much better. And I love that because it's not so much a reinvention as a pivot, I think, as an optimization to what you guys had already been building and the foundations that you guys had already laid. And that brings me to question two, which is having said all of that, what are you most excited about going forward? So for me as an educationist at, at art, um, as you know, I mean, I'm passionate about developing children, preparing them for the future. But what I'm super excited about is that our children are now equipped with the skills to go into the future. Um, I think COVID has changed the entire corporate sector, uh, even the tertiary institutions. So uh, I'm super, super excited that the children that go through our Kira uh, systems and through the various schools, um, they will be ahead of the game. They are comfortable with the various platforms. But beyond that, I think going into the future, um, you know, we, are, we have a hashtag, it's uh, learners to leaders. And uh, I believe we're developing leaders, not just uh, from an educational point of view, but uh, with a holistic development. Um, we've had to learn to embrace challenges. We've had to learn how to overcome challenges that come our way. So I think apart from the technological, uh, technological approach, I think what is super exciting is that, our, that we are preparing the learners holistically, as I, as, as I just mentioned. Um, and the world is literally the oyster. And um, you know, we, we, we're super excited to see where our learners go and also to come back and uh, invest in the schools that where they matriculated. <laughs>